Hey, welcome back to Keep It Dirty. Um, today, my guest is actually my son, Nick Dowling. Nick is my middle son. He's 21, and he will be a senior in September at Wake Forest University. He's also ROTC. And um, today, he's going to share a little bit about what he'll be doing this summer and um, just introducing him as also, he is my um, my partner in crime. We have another podcast called Keep It Dirt um, Generation Foundation. So if you guys have an opportunity, um, you could listen to Spotify um, and check out Generation Foundation. And we talk about Gen Zs versus the Gen X generation and their thoughts on environmental issues, health, and just living life of uh, the different generations. So welcome, Nick. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good to be here. Yep. So tell us a little bit about um, your experience uh, junior year at Wake Forest and a uh, little bit about what you've done. Um, junior year was good. I did an internship during the fall semester in Florida working for Disney. And then I just went back to school during the spring semester. Did pretty well. Uh, kept myself busy like usual. Um, and then this summer I've got military training, uh, at Fort Knox in Kentucky. And then I will, uh, transition up to West Point in New York for a little bit. Uh, and then I'll be back at the end of July. So looking forward to it. Wow. So yeah, maybe you could tell everybody, our viewers, our listeners, um, what did you do at um, at Disney? Uh, yeah, so I was a Disney cast member. Um, I did the Disney College program. And uh, I didn't really know a whole lot of what to expect going into it. Uh, I just had an open mind. And I was pretty fortunate and got a pretty cool role. I worked on the Jungle Cruise. Uh, and I just tried to make the most of it. I met a lot of people. Uh, met a lot of good people and, you know, working there was, uh, is unlike anything I've ever done before. I probably will never do something like it again. So it was a good experience. Um, I definitely, I would say I got a lot out of it. So that's, that's, what's most important. That's what I was looking for. So if you could tell anybody, like, what is the one thing that you could take home with how you have changed or grown or evolved? Would it be just working with different people from all walks of different lives or what, what was different working and experiencing the Disney life as an employee? Um, yeah. I mean, the company is comprised of a lot of different types of people from all over the world. Uh, so you certainly need to have that skill set and those interpersonal skills in order to, develop those relationships in the workplace and uh, be able to work together to do whatever you have to do. So, um, I mean, there's that part of it. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just learning, learning your job and getting all the training. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the frontline cast member roles, at least that all the interns were doing were pretty straightforward. I was fortunate to have a job that, you know, there was always something new every day that would come up just being in a role where it's very forward facing with the people and interacting with them. So, uh, yeah, there were challenges sometimes and situations where people get upset and guests throw a fit and are pissed off. But, uh, yeah, it's just managing that and then managing your own emotions and stress levels. So I never really had an issue with anything, uh, uh, you know, I don't have any really crazy situations that happen to me personally, but with other people, yeah, I saw things happen and people get into altercations. So, hmm. uh, I, I always kept a level head though. So, so, and then kind of integrating back, was it hard to readjust into like reality after being in a surreal atmosphere at Disney and then going back to college? Yeah, it was a little bit. I would say it's uh, the army life is different from working for a company like Disney, certainly. So um, being able to transition back, it was it was a little weird at first, but 
you just rely on your training and you kind of pick up all the things that you were accustomed to before and you get back in the groove of things. So it's not, it's nothing too crazy, I would say. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it would be weird to go back to Florida and kind of see everyone again, but mm -hmm. I'll probably do that at some point, but, uh, yeah, it's good to be doing what I'm doing now though. So. So, and then also switching, yeah, just switching those roles of um, ROTC and then academia life at college. And you're also in a fraternity. And, yep. right. So, I mean, how is that? And also, um, what extra roles will you have now that you will be appointed the battalion commander of your senior class? How does that shift your just thought process or what you have to do to mentally and physically prepare for something like that? Um, I mean, anytime. Yeah, it's a big leadership role. Uh, all the seniors in the ROTC in the Army program, they uh, usually are the ones that they're at their school, like ultimately running the program. So I'll be I'll be doing that role and I'll be working with the rest of the staff. It's called in order to like I said, run the program and do our jobs effectively. But that's that's what I care about the most is just being able to execute what we need to do and uh, just help guide and lead other younger cadets to be successful while also, you know, learning more about, you know, my own leadership style and, you know, working with people and achieving whatever, whatever the given task is or goal at a certain point. So uh it's it's good um it's just uh it's a lot of pressure i think sometimes or you know pressure that i place on myself to, to do well and to uh yeah to just uh like i said do a good job with anything that i do and hold myself to a standard so uh but it's it's been going pretty well everything and uh i'll just try and ride the responsibility and some of the stress and manage it uh mm -hmm. going forward so so i do ask my guests these questions and the one question i'll ask you is um as a child who was your role model or was there a character or um somebody that you looked up to that inspired you um to be the person that you're growing and evolving into as a young adult? Uh, I, I don't really think that I've had, I mean, there's been people here and there, I think that have helped me realize certain things about myself or have been a good guiding, you know, guiding figure to help base myself on or learn something new and like kind of strive to be, or act in accordance with how they conducted themselves. So mm -hmm. there's been a lot of different people through sports and different teams that I've been involved with, uh, or just like all the work opportunities I've sought out. And, you know, I've picked up different things from a lot of different people. Uh, and I think it's that mentality, just kind of trying to draw from all different types of people that I've met and worked with, you know, picking apart like small things that they do to incorporate it into my daily uh, activities or routine or whatever, maybe to help me be more successful that I've, you know, that's what I've tried to do. So, uh, yeah, I like yeah, that. I don't know. I don't really think there's been one person. Mm -hmm. I try and just hold myself to a standard and, and do as best as I can. Yeah. And I think the camaraderie, just being active in sports, different organizations, I know you're passionate and this is something that my uh, podcast um, taught, really speaks into it with Keep It Dirty is, is really protecting our planet. And you've been very instrumental. That's the other thing we didn't share. Um, what is your major? Um, I'm an environment and sustainability studies major. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing that the past three years and yeah, that's what I've been focusing on in school. And, um, I, I know in high school you were really involved with the environmental clubs, um, and you went to Costa Rica, right. Yeah. Uh, one summer. 
and what was it that you were you doing something with the rainforest or i mean yeah it was a it was like an immersion trip it was environmental science focused and a country like costa rica has a lot of different things that they do or practices that they employ to help um either protect the environment or just like continue to utilize the rich biodiversity that they have there. But um, yeah, it's like different immersion stuff, work opportunities or like clubs or organizations I was a part of. But I just, I, the reason I study it is just because I, I think it's pretty fascinating and I think it's applicable uh, just environmental science to a lot of different fields, especially nowadays. So um, if I end up doing something in that field one day, then, you know, that's how it'll work out to be. And uh, I'm sure it'll be good. But, you know, if I'm doing a, a role or a job where it's not the main focus, then so be it. So mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm open to opportunities that come. Well, I want to thank you, Nick, for taking the time because I know you are part of my life that inspires me to just excel. And um, it's pretty cool looking through the eyes of the Gen Z as I am a Gen X. Um, and I think the Gen Z sometimes get a bad rap where they're like, oh, you know, they're just always on their laptops or but they're wired so differently. Um, they're entrepreneurial. Um, I've done a deep dive into what the Gen Z's are all about and having three sons that are Gen Z's. Um, but because everything is so hands on and, and you could get that knowledge and those facts at your fingertips, they're ready to take on the world. And they are so much more environmentally, environmentally conscious than my generation. So they are going to rock the world. They will do good. And, um, people like Nick that, um, you know, really are there to be the trendsetters and the goal getters. So thanks again. And mm -hmm. this is really nice to have one of my uh, three sons, one of my family members here on this podcast. And so apropos as we do, we did start uh, a podcast several years ago before I started Keep It Dirty called Generation Foundation. But thanks again, all our viewers and listeners. And remember, have a great day and keep it dirty. Take care.